Afternoon, Nan Dunny. Good mm. to see you again. Can we just have an update on the team news uh, returning from the internationals? Yes, uh, I think the only players we will have out will be Tyler. That uh, you know that he's still with the with the surgery and recovering. He's I think he's doing well. And uh, Dango that has come injured from the from the national team. No, uh, unlucky for us, unlucky for him. Uh, most of the players we've had injured at the beginning of the season have been with national teams. It happened with with Enes, with Tyler, now with Dango. Uh, but uh, I think we will kind of recover uh, Brooksy. He was already on the bench, but he has trained two weeks uh, properly. And even Enes has been this week training uh, with us, and, and he has a, a chance to be involved tomorrow, yes. And what's the injury to Django? Django is the, the ankle. He has had this uh, injury uh, before, and he twisted uh, the, the ankle, and let's hope it's... Uh, not a lot of time, but uh, he's injured right now, yes. You also won't be uh, able to play Kepa. Is that yeah. a source of frustration for you? No, it, we knew it before he came. No are the rules. He cannot play. Uh, Mark will start tomorrow, and he has been very good at times when uh, he has had the chance, and uh, I'm, I'm confident that he will, he will do well, yes. Kepa's obviously come in as a number one. If Mark plays really well tomorrow, does that give you a bit of a, an issue for the next match? Uh, this is a good problem to have for a for a manager. No, I think everyone that has a chance to play has to push, has to give the best they can to try to win more minutes, and it's the same in every position. You've had a lot of players away on international duty. How difficult is it to prepare for your next Premier League game with so many away? Uh, yes, it's a strange one because you have almost two weeks to prepare, but really you are training with nine, ten players. I suppose it's the same for Chelsea. And then uh, everyone comes and you have just one or two days to do everything that you were preparing. So it's, uh, it's a difficult one because you have a lot of time to see videos, to analyze the team, the opposition, but really with the players you don't have a lot of time. But I suppose it's the same for, for, for every team, yes. Great news as well for the club this week with Adam Smith extending his contract. How important is that and how important is he to you? Uh, you can see it, no? Uh, he's uh, been very important. He was very important past season. He's been very important this this season. I've talked a lot of times about Adam. I think he, uh, he realises and he understands the game and he, that he has to earn every, every season, no? Once you get to an age, every season you have to earn the right to continue. Uh, playing in the in the Premier League and he has done it brilliantly and he is absolutely deserved yes. Just on Chelsea, how different is it to prepare for a Maresca at Chelsea compared to the one that you faced last season? I think the, there there are some some similarities. I think there are uh, obviously with most of the same players, uh, but uh, it's going to be a difficult game for us tactically also. There are a team that in these three first Premier League games they have used three different structures because they have a lot of different players, a lot of different alternatives according of the things you do. They will uh, do other things and it's not easy to know uh, how they will play tomorrow. We have to prepare for, for a lot of different options. For me, they've, they've played really, really well. They are, uh, they, they're going to be very good this season, I think. They've lost against against City only, and I think it's going to be a very, very difficult game, yes. It's not just the Premier League that's back. I know you're a big NFL fan. What have you made to the start of the new season? I haven't seen a lot, I have to say, just one game week. Uh, but things look quite similar, no? like they ended uh, past, past season, and we'll see how, how the season develops, yes. Your team, New York Giants? Giants, no, we've not been lucky. First game, we continue with uh, not very good performances, but we'll see, we'll see. But you're glad that you play Saturday and they play Sunday, so maybe if you win, you can have Sunday off and watch it? Yeah, the most important thing is what you said. If you win, everything what happens Sunday will be very good. If we don't win or we lose, probably uh, it's not going to be enough, no. But yes, thank you. It's an unusual kickoff time, 8 o'clock on a yeah. Saturday. Does that... How does that affect your preparations? Is it just like preparing for a midweek game or is it tricky and difficult? No, the preparation today we are going to train later. We normally train kind of similar to the to the time we play next day, but I, I love these games. 
I think the big, big games are at night, you know, and when you play football. And uh, probably for me it's easier because in Spain, Saturday 8 o'clock is kind of usual or quite normal. And it's, uh, uh, I think it's, it's, I, I like it uh, to play. I remember liking it and I hope we, we can do well also. And with Chelsea, you said they've got so many different options. And does that mean you find you do a lot more analysis in the way you have to, you know, do you have to, to prepare on the pitch for more uh, elements? How, how, how much more work do you have to do when you're up against a team like that? For me, it's very difficult. It's a difficult game for us tactically because uh, they have s so many different ways to do what it looks the same, but depending the the players they use outside, inside, uh, it changes a lot how we also uh, defend. So we have to prepare for a lot of things. And also it's a tricky game because a lot of things that we normally do, they are not bad for Chelsea. If we put a high ride them, if we go and press them, they are very good. You know, sometimes they want you to to press and so they, they attract players and they, they are very fast exploiting the spaces. So. Uh, they are quite comfortable in this kind of scenarios that we normally like also. So it's a tricky one because you don't want also to lose your identity. You want to do the things that you normally do, but you have to be aware that uh, they are also comfortable in these in this scenarios, yes. So has that helped having the international break then? Because you have been able to sit in front of a computer. For yes, a we've obviously, like they did, no, a lot of time to analyze their games, but uh, for sure they have another thing ready, another twist, and we will have to adapt uh, during the during the game, no. And uh, probably the coaching staff, yes, we've analyzed everything, we know everything, but at the end, a lot of players, some they will train today, just first day or yesterday, so it's not too much time to 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 you don't want them also to spend two hours in the video looking at everything so we'll try to do the best we can and let's see tomorrow if it's it's good enough with the kepa situation are you a fan of that rule that lone players can't play uh, it's what it is i think it's mandatory here in england uh, we knew it before uh, he signed so it's not something that uh, you spend time or you lose time thinking no it's uh, he cannot play no problem mark will play and uh, he has been very good every time and i I haven't thought too much in this, yes. Fair enough. And just the start of the international break, I wonder how much time you allowed yourself to enjoy the final five minutes of the Everton game and how much time you spent torturing yourself about the, the first 87. Yeah, probably probably more in the, in the first part. I think uh, luckily for us, it finished well. I think uh, we did, it's true that we, we did, uh, I think, a very bad game for 75, 80 minutes. But also, uh, the same way I, I say this, we have to accept that in, I don't know, 15, 17 minutes, we created like seven, eight very clear chances. So there is a part where, okay, we have to improve this, but also uh, we are able to do this. Uh, we are, even even in the game we played, our expected goals was higher than Everton. In the in the overall of the game, you know, is I accepted like, probably they deserve to win because they were the better team for most time, but there is a part where, hey, but we can be really dangerous when we are on it and we are pushing and we are we are uh, really focused. So you have to learn from both sides, yes. Just one more. I wonder, is, I should have asked Ash, has Evan Ilson been one of the players who's been here the last two weeks? Have you had... Yes. Is, how beneficial has that been working with him so closely? For me, very very good for him. Very good because we, can, we could spend more time with him even individually analyzing things that... Uh, we we will ask uh, from from him understand better collectively what we try to do and I think uh, has been a very good time for him personally also to settle in to find his house to start the the schools with uh, his uh, his daughter and I suppose that uh, has been two weeks where I think he's like probably more more relaxed now yes we're so impatient as football fans <laughs> but is is he ready to explode. I think he has been very good. I think he played very well against Newcastle. He played very well against uh, West Ham. Uh, probably he didn't play well against Everton, but I think he has played, I don't know, 100 and something Premier League minutes, you know, and we want him to score straight away, you know. It's, 
for me, I'm, I'm happy with the performances he has had, and I'm not focusing on if he is going to score tomorrow or not. I want him to help us, and that's what we, we will ask him tomorrow, yes.